Ah! Oh, jeez. All right, I'm gonna be there now. What's going on, Arnold? Now I get to deal with the big rat. The biggest rat of them all. Mr. Porcupine. Believe it or not, porcupines are rodents. The largest rodent of all is the capybara of South America. The big porcupines come next. But I'm sincerely impressed if this guy's right down here in suburbia. Deserves a medal. I wonder why he wandered so far. Here we go, look, they've guarded him. They're on guard. Oh, this is so funny. Did you cuff him? Did you cuff him? Yep, just as I suspected, we got a porcupine on our hands. Oh, bring the kid. Bring the kid. <laughs> Grab that porcupine. Well, porcupines like kids. They won't, they, they won't hurt adults. They like kids. Come look here. Come look here, little man. If I can get this box in a nice position, and then we just turn him around and see if he'll pop into the box. Because they like kids, porcupines. Do you mind getting inside? He doesn't mind. I like this kid. This is better than school, eh? Much better. <laughs> Corralling a porcupine, that's what you gotta do. Right, now, chase him out. I wanted the kid to do it, but I think he's gone, he had to go to school, unfortunately. This is a secure complex, so it's got a high fence all the way around. So of course, he spent last night wafting around, trying to get through, exciting people who thought someone was trying to break in, there was a burglar or something, meanwhile, there's porcupine trying to get his way out. So while he thinks about what he's done, I wanna show you how he got in here. That's quite amazing, eh? And this is done by his teeth. This is not him scratching, he actually chews and he rips and pulls at the same time. Porcupines have been rodents, the front two incisors grow through the mouth if he's not chewing and grinding them down. Oh, shame, I didn't even see, look at all the little, look at the little quills. This is the quills that are by his head. Little baby type porcupine quills. All right, we put it off long enough, let's go catch us a porcupine. The porcupine is now trapped, he cannot get out of here. He can't come this way unless he charges through me. He's got to go that way, and that way the box is waiting for him. So, now it's a game of cat and mouse. On the move. Little man! Come, don't be so cheeky. Come, 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 come. Come, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. He's in, he's in. Well, that was easy. I just couldn't, I just could not get out of the bush fast enough. Oh, come on, move on, man. Move on, move on, move on. That rattling sound is not the bushes. That's the defense mechanism. He's shaking his quills. Get going, come on. Up, 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 Oh, man. I'm now in a vulnerable position. I'm stuck in the angry porcupine. Get in the box. <laughs> Go check all the quills stuck in the bamboo there. That whole bamboo on the side just full of quills sticking out. This is what you don't want stuck in your appendages. And with a little help from us, security finally gets to take away that cat burglar. He's under lock and key and he's off to his next adventure. Okay, thanks guys. Cheers. Believe it or not, porcupines kill a lot of dogs. What happens is the dog charges in and the quill just penetrates into the lung or into the heart. Porcupines don't shoot their quills like people believe. The quill is actually barbed and they reverse into you with that quill. When you pull the quill out, you invariably leave a small piece of the quill behind and that festers and causes blood poisoning. So you've got to really, really be careful with porcupines. That's why we're taking him way outside the city to a game park. We're going to take Mr. Porky Walkypine and release him here. There's lots of lovely forest, lots of good porcupine habitat. Hopefully he doesn't wander into any more townhouses and create pandemonium. There you go. You was out there, old man. This is my friend Garnet Cantor who owns this place. This is a good spot. I've often found porcupine quills on this road. So we know there's another population here somewhere. 
and it looks like we've got a bit of an audience for the release. There's quite a lot here, so I think he'll fit in. Is it a male or female? I don't know. I'll tell you what. You open the legs and have a look. <laughs> what are you laughing about? You open yeah. the legs. I got asked that this morning. Poked, is it a it. male or is it a female? <laughs> come on. Out you go. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm not tickling you. Come, 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 come. Come, come. I don't want to have to pour you out. Doors open, buddy. Time to go. They're one of the most difficult things to get out of the box. Come, come, come. I don't feel like tossing you out. Come on. We had such a nice relationship earlier. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come, come. Go on, just stay there. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Whoa. There we go. Ta -ra -ta -ra -ta -ra -ta -ra -ta. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> They're quite crazy when they go. <laughs> Whoops. Nope. Looks like a spotted giraffe or probably smelled him. And he's back on the move, right at that giraffe. Man, the giraffe didn't like that, eh? And he's in the bush. Another job settled. Porcupine done and dusted. If you want to see more animal rescues, please subscribe.